say it was over. I was in Atlanta, and uh, everybody in the office, uh, besides me, was a doctor's wife. Now, they, they bought some serious priced houses, and they had some great um, referrals from their doctor network. Well, I didn't have that. So I had to figure out another way to provide for my family. So it really goes back down to the age of motivation is why. Because I know logic is going to win out. And, and I know that you know that the quality of your listing inventory is going to determine who's going to call you on the phone. It's going to determine the quality of the buyer that calls you on the phone. Uh, it's going to determine whether or not you're going to be able to get access to that buyer and talk that buyer into working with you as opposed to your competition. So you got to find out the agent's why in order to get the money back. Love it. Another really good one. This is a little bit logistical about uh, local MLS. Twenty-four hours from ink to MLS, so they are fined a thousand dollars. Do you have any creative ideas, Marty? <laughs> I love it. You're winning. Yeah. I when I first uh, started coming to the homes, I got anonymous letters to the board about me, and I got one anonymous letter to me. I kept it somewhere. I'll send it out. And he says, "And we are a group of hardworking agents," and you know, it went all along. But the truth of it is, is when they're pushing at you, you're going in the right direction. If not, you can just go to throw everybody else and you can end up where they're going. I've looked at the average earnings of a real estate professional in this business, and maybe that's good enough for you. When I was raising my family, that was not a good enough income for me. I needed to figure out a way to do less instead of more. And that's the reason I know that the coming soon home process will teach you how to focus on the things that are the highest uh, income producing things that you can do. Your board, uh, there's two ways. Uh, you can be with them, you really good sales. You can hire a lawyer, which we have done in the past. We actually have agents in our coming soon uh, process that are partners with us that have gone. I have an agent, a favorite agent of mine, uh, who ran coming soon, did such a great job with it. She, she had 35% of her market. And then all of a sudden, after she'd run it for years, then the whole board started saying, uh uh, that's unfair advantage. Well, she hired a lawyer, went to the board, and said, uh uh, you can't tell me how to do this because I'm, I'm doing this in an ethical manner. Here's all the ways that we're following and uh, abiding all the, the rules and the regulations of the board. So it really just depends on how committed you are to doing something different in your market. Somebody's going to do it. There, there are things that are changing in the coming soon process. We're, we have agent partners right now that two years ago their board thought exactly the same way that your board did. But it changed because the market's changing because there's different players out there. So I hope that helps. Her response to you is, we're thinking about it. I remember your story from meeting you in Vegas a few years ago. <laughs> so awesome. Yeah.